Hi, I'm Manny Tysolanius with the Da Vinci Initiative, which is a nonprofit organization that supports atelier training in K-12 schools. Um, today, I want to talk about, for our tips and tricks videos, um, how do you know if you messed up? Uh, so, especially since many of you are working from home and following along with the videos, you're not necessarily getting the immediate instruction from an atelier trained person to help keep you on track. So you have the added responsibility to make sure that you are on track. So um, here's a few warning signs that you may have made a mistake. If on your page you have a curved line, you are not thinking with the method of this particular course. If you have a curved line on your page, a better choice would be to break it into large straight lines. Do you see how I was able to describe that curve with straight lines instead of a curve? And that's actually its own skill that needs to be practiced. So even if it seems really frustrating to you because you just want to draw the curve, being able to identify the exact angle of that curve is a skill that you will need to become an atelier trained artist. Now, some people will describe the same curve with straight lines by doing something like this. This. Now, they'll say to you, yes, I use straight lines. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. But do you see how small these ideas are compared to how big these ideas are? So it's really important that even though you're using straight lines, that you're really using big ideas. That's the most important thing, big ideas. These straight lines are a big idea. These little lines are small ideas. So I want you to look at your drawing. And if you're using curves or if you're using a lot of tiny straight lines, I want you to see if you can find a way in your drawing to describe it with a bigger straight line instead. OK, so those are two warning signs that you're a little off track. Look in your drawing right now. See if you can find them. And if you did do something with a lot of little lines, erase them back and find the big lines instead. All right, that's it for this Tips and Tricks video. And I wish you luck with your drawing, and I'll see you next time.